So day two of the bike tour through Australia. We got into bed at about seven o'clock last night and we woke up right at around seven o'clock uh, this morning. So at least 12, a good 12 hours of rest there. And I definitely, definitely uh, am appreciating having the, uh, the bivy sack now as opposed to having the hammock tent that I had in Asia. The hammock tent just fucking sucked. I couldn't sleep in it. It was very uncomfortable. But now just being able just to put my bivy sack wherever I can on the ground makes it so much easier to sleep. And I mean, I only woke up probably two or three times throughout the night, but <laughs> like I was actually sleeping, which is like a change because I'm usually not sleeping at night uh, while I've been cycle touring. And uh, so yeah, just uh, out in the bush right now, gonna head back to the road, head up. Uh, Gold Coast is kind of like about 10, 15 kilometers away, so we'll get to the Gold Coast, pack up uh, on some water and some more food for the day, and then just keep riding throughout the day. I actually already noticed yesterday, it was overcast all, all, all day yesterday, today. It was, uh, I only rode for about three and a half, maybe four hours, and I already know, I can already feel uh, the tops of my legs right here. I, I, I can already feel that they got like a little, not burnt, but they, but they feel like They've been out in the sun for a while, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of funny that the sun is still so strong, but just behind the clouds. So that's something that you always have to like take into account: is that when 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 you're riding, whether it's overcast or whether it's just you know uh, no clouds in the sky at all, you really have to take care of your body in terms of the sun. Nothing that I can really do on my legs um, because they're just gonna get burnt anyways. Uh, but definitely with your arms. Uh, back of your neck, um, your face as well. Do as much as you can to protect your face. All those different things, you know, makes your ride a lot more enjoyable. You might not look as good, but then again, I'd rather I'd rather be in a lot less pain than have to you know look my best out on my bike when I smell like crap, anyways. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna head off, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys when we get some food. Cheers. You can definitely tell I'm in, uh, definitely in the Gold Coast, definitely a much more affluent area here of Australia. I was passed by an Aston Martin earlier on my bike and it's like, holy fuck, it's like a two or three hundred thousand dollar car right there. Welcome to Miami, baby! Woo! Alright, so we just made a stop at a uh, at a shopping center about 10 kilometers ago. Got three liters of juice, a couple kilos of uh, of sultanas, or raisins, or currants, or whatever the hell you want to call them. And uh, so we're just riding through the Gold Coast right now. And I originally thought today was only going to be about 135, 140 kilometers, but when I got into the city after riding for about uh, 15, 20 kilometers, it said it was uh, 135 kilometers to Ballina. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so today's probably going to be a little bit longer than I really, uh, really hoped for. Oh man. And I got a good solid headwind pretty well the whole time that I've been riding as well. So we're going a little bit slower than normal. But I gotta, it's probably, I think it's just around 10.30 or so right now. So I think we might be able to make it. I can usually ride 
Should be able to ride till about 5 30, 6 o'clock, so I think we'll be riding well into the evening. And also at the mall, it's kind of nice because I can fill my water bottles up, take a go to the bathroom, use the toilet. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be a long day. So we're just in Miami. This is where there's an organic market there every uh, I believe it's Saturday or Sunday. I think it's Saturday. I've been there been there once when I was down here on the Gold Coast. There's not I've already been down to the Gold Coast uh, twice since I've been at Brisbane, so there's not there's not a lot of reason for me to really stop here and check it out. There's a lot of malls, a lot of shopping. Beaches are gorgeous. Water is nice and warm. But other than that, no real reason for me to stop. So we're just gonna keep going, keep riding, keep struggling into the headwind, and uh, we'll get to you guys soon. Exciting. <laughs> so we are, uh, so I'm back on the highway, back on Pacific Highway, riding to Ballina. Probably about 70 more kilometers to go, I reckon. And uh, so much nicer. The views aren't nice on the highway, so you're riding on a fucking highway. But it's nice because there's no stop signs, no traffic lights. You can just get in a really good groove and you can just go, go, go. So I mean, I can hold a much higher speed. I'm way more efficient. And I'll be able to get a lot more done in a hell of a lot shorter amount of time. Woo! Whoa, party people, what's going on? We are about... So originally I didn't plan, I plan on trying to get all the way to Byron Bay today and after I started, I realized that how fucking far it is away. It's, I thought it was only like uh, about 135 kilometers away, and then it ended up being, after I looked a little bit more closely, about 155 kilometers or so. And so, going by that amount, we've done we've done about 135 kilometers for the day, and I didn't want to have to do any days over 100 kilometers at, for at least you know at least three or four days, and. So I got all the way to Byron Bay, which is about five kilometers back that way, and, I'm, and I just told my buddy Anthony, I'm like, I'm just going to camp out somewhere between. I don't feel like riding for another hour, hour and a half. And he's like, man, it's only 26 kilometers. And when you say it like that, after you've, you know, ridden 130 kilometers, it's like, fuck. <laughs> all right, so I'm like, all right, I'll see you soon then. So I'm just, uh, I was riding down the highway for most of the day. The highway, it's just so, it's just so, it's just so manicured, right? Along, you know, the trees and the forest along, uh, along the highway are just, it's just so manicured and you just come out here. It's just like, it's just so beautiful. Like, I, everything's just, just natural how it should be and I'm so glad that I actually chose to come down this road to get all the way to Ballina. So, uh, the sign behind me said that I have about 23 kilometers to go. So we're uh, got 23 more to go, and uh, have enough water on the bike, have lots of food, so we should be able to get there no problem. The only thing is the sun, as you can kind of see, starting to get a little bit low. I don't have any lights on my bike either, which is kind of stupid, but there are reflectors on the back, obviously. But other than that, yeah, let's keep going. We'll uh, we'll get there soon enough. We'll uh, get you guys there. So guys, I ended up making it all the way to Ballina last night. And it was, uh, it was a long ride, a lot longer than I expected. So I started riding at about 8 o'clock in the morning and 
I think I finished up around it's about 6 30 7 o'clock at night so it was a long day on the bike and I think the scary thing for me is that I actually feel like perfectly fine today considering it was uh, one of the longest rides that I've done in in about five months did 145 kilometers with a really really heavy bike setup and really devastating headwinds all day long I f <laughs> I'm almost scared of how far I'm gonna be able to ride on on better days so what we're gonna be doing is I've actually um, I've got all my stuff uh, separated for the stuff that I'm gonna be posting to Adelaide so I just weighed it it's 10 kilos worth of weight that I'm gonna be sending there so that's 20 pounds off the bike automatically that's that's a that's a huge amount <laughs> so I mean it's gonna be the bikes gonna handle a lot better I'm gonna be able to go a lot faster and I'm gonna be able to go for a lot longer as well I, I can just only imagine like a day where there's no wind or I have a tailwind I'm gonna be I'm just, just gonna be flying on the bike so we're staying here at a, at a friend's place in uh, Ballina for a few days um, so we're gonna be going to Byron Bay today check that out and to you know see what's going on there Byron Bay is a really cool place so we'll definitely get some video of that you know check out the beach have a good rest day so we've done uh, 100 or sorry 205 kilometers over the past two days which isn't a huge amount but definitely a good start to the bike trip and uh, yeah so hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far I'm trying to get as much riding footage as possible that's uh, some feedback that I got from uh, the last bike tours to get uh, more riding footage and more footage of like people and stuff that I meet so we're definitely gonna be trying that out so 200 kilometers done three 2800 more to go and we'll be all the way in Adelaide cheers guys thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my bike tour uh, like or dislike the video from today and if you have any questions comments leave them below cheers guys peace out